The purpose of this video is to explain more about the nature of the data when it's collected and how this is converted into an image. On the left is the animation showing the dipoles in real space. In the middle is k-space. On the right is the two-dimensional wave that this position in k-space will contribute to the final image. When a pixel in k-space is filled, the receive coil measures the signal from the processing dipoles. The signal is measured and two things are stored, the amplitude of the wave and the phase of the wave. The video shows how these two values can change and what they mean. Amplitude is easy and is represented at the bottom as the black bar, the height of which represents the amplitude of the signal. If many dipoles are processing together, the signal is stronger. The amplitude is high, that pixel in k-space is very bright, and this two-dimensional wave contributes a large component of the final image. If the amplitude is low, that pixel in k-space is darker, and this two-dimensional wave does not contribute much to the final image. Phase is a little more difficult to understand. In this video, phase is represented on the bottom as the color wheel. The color represents a specific phase. When the dipoles are dephased with the frequency or phase gradients, they begin to oppose one another in their contribution to the net signal. Another way to understand this is to notice what happens to the final image contribution when the phase is changed. The phase represents the position of the wave on the final image. Even more confusing, the k-space image usually does not include the phase data, but only shows amplitude as the brightness of the pixel.